If we dunked a recording GoPro into a container of liquid nitrogen, how long do you think it would keep recording before it freezes up and shuts down? I just got back from the store where I picked up a couple of GoPros. I got the Hero 5 Black as well as the Hero 5 Session. This one cost me about $400 and if it survives this torture trial, I'm going to give it to one of you. This one here is the Hero 5 Black. It records 12 megapixels and also shoots in 4K. Another cool feature is it's got a LCD screen on the back so you can actually see what you're recording as you do it. That's a nice feature to have. This one here is the new Hero 5 Session, shoots in 10 megapixels and 4K, which my old one only shoots in 1080. And this one has built-in stabilizer as well, so as you're hand holding it, it helps balance out some of the footage. So it might be a good idea to start off with my older GoPro to see if this is even a viable idea because I don't want to waste new technology unnecessarily. We just filled up our container with liquid nitrogen. You can see this thing is extremely frosty and ready to go. So let's throw this thing in the tongs, get it recording, then give it its cryogenic bath that it's destined to take. So we've got this set up on Bluetooth right now. I'm actually doing a screen record of what we're seeing here on the GoPro. That way if this freezes up, we'll still have the backed up footage on my cell phone. Hey guys, ready to go? Here are the tongs. And let's just go ahead and dip this in for maybe like five seconds and see if it survives. Okay, we are confirmed recording. It's time to dip. And apparently, it looks like it's still recording. And over here you can see, yep, we're still getting the Bluetooth feed. So that's really cool. Ooh, that's really cool. We got a phone within a phone within a phone within a phone. That's phoneception. So very cool, our GoPro survived the first five seconds. I didn't really have any doubt that it would because it didn't cool down too much. So this time let's push the boundaries. Let's fully submerge it and just leave it in there until the nitrogen cools it down completely. I'm a little bit nervous about this one because we might lose the footage, but that's a risk I'm willing to take. There we go. It is fully submerged. And all you can see now is this little red flashing light at the bottom of the container. Now the reason it's bubbling so profusely is because the Hero is cooling down and releasing all that heat. As the nitrogen bubbles start to flatten out, that means our Hero session will have cooled down completely. And if you look over here at the camera, this is the view that our camera's having right now. And it's still recording. The red light's still flashing. We're into it about 25 seconds now and it's still going. That red light's, uh, oh, there it goes. Camera low battery. So we just got a low battery warning. Uh, I no longer see the red light flashing, but I do see it's still recording through the, the Bluetooth feed. But this is actually really impressive. I did not expect it to go this long. We just got like a triple flash there. The camera just turned off. I can't tell if the camera turned itself off just because it had a low battery warning or if it was the nitrogen that froze it solid. That was maybe really bad timing and I probably should have charged this up beforehand. But based on these results, I think I am willing to experiment with the new cameras and put them through the same experiments and see what kind of results we get with them. I'm really curious to know if we saved the footage from that. <laughs> wow, it is super cold, but you know what? It looks in great shape. Ooh, it's just frostbit me. I'm gonna set it there. Whoa, the back plate just fell off. Hey, ever wondered what's inside a GoPro? <laughs> I gotta put that down though, cause it's like frostbiting my fingertips. That is really cold, guys. It's actually so cold that it's condensing the moisture out of the air and we're getting like frost buildup all around it. And if I breathe on it, we can just accelerate that effect. And that is how you get yourself a custom white GoPro. Okay, so we got the Hero 5 session. We got it hooked up to my phone and we got our nitrogen replenished. We're gonna sink this one in and just let it run until it freezes completely. The battery's charged, so we shouldn't have any connection issues with the battery and it's currently recording. So let's plunge this down into liquid nitrogen and see what happens. Hero 5 session, let's make it happen. Look at how the nitrogen just bubbles on the glass there. I'm just gonna leave that there for a second because that's kind of cool. Still recording so far. And all the way in. Cool, now we're just gonna let that saute for about one and a half to two minutes. And when that stops boiling, the GoPro should be about the same temperature as the liquid nitrogen. We're into it about 35 seconds now and everything's going strong. The picture still looks clear on the Bluetooth. It's actually amazing to me that it can still transmit Bluetooth wirelessly at those temperatures. Looks like it's starting to glitch out a little bit. Oh yep, camera just turned off. At least it disconnected from the phone, but the light's still flashing in there. 
So it looks like the GoPro is probably still recording. And there's like some little black junk floating around in there. Oh, and there goes the GoPro, it just shut off. So it looks like these things can handle about 60 seconds in liquid nitrogen before they automatically power down. If you look straight down on it, it kind of looks like a creepy eyeball. This has been sitting in there for about five minutes. So let's go ahead and fish it out and take a look at the damage. There we go, that thing is cold. Watch closely what happens when I breathe on it gently. You can literally see the moisture from my breath condensing. Oh, and it looks like we lost the back panel. <laughs> the back panel fell right off. Oh, and the button's still in there. That right there is our button. So hopefully when that heats back up, we'll be able to pop that back together. So cool. While that's thawing out, let's go ahead and torture test the Hero 5 Black. We'll leave this thing recording until it shuts down. All right, let's go for a nitrogen dip. So far, so good. Let's give it about another five seconds here. Oh, look at that. The crystals in the LCD are actually freezing up. See, even though I'm moving the camera around, it's not creating an image that is stationary. So we may have just fried the LCD. We're pushing 45 seconds now. And I just heard the camera shutting down. It stopped recording. LCD screen is still on, so let's just go ahead and leave that and see how long that'll sit before the LCD screen shuts off again. Oh, and check this GoPro out. This has just got completely frosty while we've been waiting. That's insane. Frosty the GoPro. Okay, so the LCD screen has turned off again. Can I touch it to make it come back on? Let's find out. Okay, it's gone completely unresponsive. And you see how that just frosts over instantly the second it touches the air. All right, so I think this one is cooked. Let's go ahead and set that to the side. So there was a glass lens here and that's popped off. It looks like the inner lens is still okay. We may have to fish off that glass lens. Let me grab that really quick. All right, cool. That's really cold. It looks like it was held on with some kind of adhesive that probably just got so cold and cracked away. When that warms up, we may be able to just push it back into place. But you can see this inner lens looks like it's probably gonna be just fine. It was just this protective lens that popped off. Right now it's probably about minus 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's starting to warm up just a little bit. If we open the battery compartment, <laughs> our battery is still in there. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. Oop. Okay, so that's not coming out. <laughs> we'll just leave that in there. Now, it seems that when the SD card gets too cold, the uh, ejecting mechanism doesn't work. So we're gonna have to let that warm back up and then we'll see if we got any good footage from it. You can see the Hero Session pops apart into three pieces. We got the button and the back plate. And then we got this little sensor, this moisture sensor. It'll be interesting to see if that gets triggered because it was just nitrogen, so it shouldn't do whatever it does when it gets triggered. <laughs> you can see those came out pretty dang frosty. We'll give those about 25 minutes to warm back up and then pull the SD cards and see if we can recover any of that footage. So update guys, it's a day later now and these things have sat out all night and completely acclimated back to room temperature. It took about an hour for them to completely defrost and unfortunately, we lost all the data. We kept getting error messages saying the SD cards were corrupted so none of the footage that we got with the GoPros was salvageable, unfortunately. So here's our Hero 5 Black and here's our Hero 5 Session. So let's see if we can replace the button and just pop that back panel back in place. So it looks like it's just held on by adhesive. Nothing really snaps into place there, which is kind of surprising. So apparently we got that adhesive so cold that it just froze up. And then when this metal panel shrunk, that's what caused it to pop off the back. So now that's warmed up, hopefully that will stay in place. The LCD display looks completely normal. If we press the button, it looks like we can even get it recording. What's up? Welcome back from your cryogenic bath. So our Hero 5 session survived and it looks like it works in perfect condition. So I'll probably be using this for future videos. Let's check out the Hero 5 Black and see how it held up. Now, the first damage we notice obviously is this protective screen popped off. So it's obviously not waterproof right now. This ridge right here is tacky though. And now that it's warmed back up, we might be able to clean that lens off. 
clean this piece of glass and put it back together. So let's find some microfiber cloth and see if we can restore it to its original condition. I am curious to know if the LCD screen survived because when we were doing our test, it froze in the image and uh, it almost looked like it destroyed it. So it'd be interesting to see if that comes back on. So this display, I noticed that there is like a small crack. It looked like a, a hair at first, but I think it actually is a crack. And there definitely is something in there between the layers of the screen. So that's not optimal. However, maybe we can turn this thing on. Okay, actually the LCD screen on the front is still working. That definitely is some kind of a fracture or a crack because I can see it is raised up underneath the surface there and there is some discoloration in the screen. It's still usable, it's just not perfect. And we've got an SD card error. But look at this, the LCD screen is actually still working. And apparently it's working very well, that's still in really good uh, condition. This blows my mind because that was frozen solid. You guys saw the image was not moving. I'm really impressed that that came back with such clarity. How cool. This is cool, the glass didn't crack or anything, so as long as we can clean this up and put it back together, it should be in pretty good shape. All right, that's looking good. Put that in place. And hopefully with a little bit of pressure, we can get that adhesive to grab back on. I wonder if this voids the warranty. <laughs> cool, the screen is replaced. It actually looks like it's back in there. Nice and tight. Sweet, so this is the Hero 5 Black. I just put a new SD card in and it is working perfectly. So there you have it guys. Now you know what happens when you soak a GoPro in liquid nitrogen. They are surprisingly resilient. I had no idea that they'd hold up that well. So I threw these things back in their packaging and they're almost as good as new. They're fully functioning, they work great. And so I'm gonna pick two of you and give these things away. So stick around and I'll tell you how you can qualify. Here's how to win yourself the GoPro. Go to Instagram.com slash the King of Random and click to follow my page. For the next seven days, I'll be posting Instagram stories with bits of code embedded into them. So you'll need to write down the code every day for the next seven days, and then I'll post a link to where you can submit your answer and enter to win the GoPro. But remember, Instagram stories only last for 24 hours, so you need to check in every day to get the next piece of the code. Instagram.com slash the King of Random. Follow me there, watch for the updates, and best of luck with the contest. See ya.